Hello, Business 635 students. It's our final week of our Managing Financial Resources class. This is Mr. Hasse. It's Thursday morning, March. What is this? I'm losing track of time with these crazy world events we have going on today. Thursday, March 12th, here in Claremont, California. And the world events are changing by the by the minute lately. And I, my head is spinning because of all that. And I'm sure your heads are spinning with all the work you have to do in regards to the electrics case, the paper, and the bankruptcy uh, discussion posts. But I appreciate all your hard work. Uh, the university is going through some uh, changes this week, uh, as many of you probably know. Uh, and for your full-time online students, it really doesn't mean anything. But the university, beginning next week, will be switching over for the next few weeks to an all-online format to uh, protect students and staff from the virus. And so uh, a lot of changes and activities going on at the university these days. But why don't we just get this Business 635 class wrapped up? And that's the purpose of my video this morning. <clears throat> you have a, uh, a discussion post that is posted uh, in regards to bankruptcies. And I threw this in because I, it's a good subject, especially for what the economy might be turning into over the next year, of examples of bankruptcies over in the last recession uh, back in 2008 and nine. And I want you to select uh, one of these bankruptcies, Lehman Brothers, General Motors, and Washington Mutual, and give me a little quick analysis about how uh, those bankruptcies occurred, and in your opinion, what was the uh, file? What was the result of that bankruptcy filing? Did the companies come back stronger? Did they liquidate? Uh, what was the result of that, and how did it influence the major uh, players in that company, the sh shareholders, the creditors, the lenders of money? and uh, the customer of the company, how that all affected those th three groups. Then I would like you to comment on another student's posting having to do with another company that you did not select and give your opinions on that. So I'd like you to do that this week is do us on Sunday. It's, uh, it's uh, worth 5% of your grade. It's a good finishing uh, grade for you. But also, it's, that also highlights the state of events that we're in now today. A lot of companies are going to be going through a lot of changes, a lot of changes in their profits, their revenues, their markets over the next year or so. And this might be a good prerequisite to understanding uh, what other companies went through uh, the last time we had a major economic slowdown. So that's important. Secondly, you have your electrics case to be uh, posted this weekend. A lot of you have been uh, sending me your drafts of your spreadsheets. Some of, somewhat I'm a little concerned you haven't been gotten too far along in your analysis. Uh, you have some work to do, but at least you're sending me your work and letting me view, review the draft of your spreadsheet, most specifically the WAC calculation and your base analysis. Again, follow the checklist that I have provided for you. That will be a great help in you putting together this information. To the students who have I have not heard from, which is roughly about half the class, I hope you're on top of this and are able to handle it. This is not an easy assignment, as many of you uh, are finding out. The base analysis and the WAC calculation are fairly easy. But if you read the case correctly and, and look at the material, the sensitivity analysis is a little bit of additional work and a little bit of additional thinking. Please take that into account as you wrap up these next few days. I have office hours this afternoon and this evening if you so need to talk to me. I also will be available if you need any assistance through Sunday this weekend, uh, meaning you can uh, send me an email with your drafts or uh, request a WebEx meeting if that's, if that's so desired. So again, uh, as we wrap up this last week of study, uh, I, I want to thank you and uh, appreciate all your hard work. You have a couple of more days of, of additional work, and we can wrap this up. And I appreciate all your time and efforts. Uh, remember, your course evaluations are due once you get all the coursework done. And I'll talk about that in my final video uh, late tomorrow afternoon uh, to wrap this course up and get you all set up for the weekend and our close of our activities. So thanks, everybody. Enjoy your Thursday. And... Uh, Take care and uh, hopefully you uh, are not too shaken by these events of the last day or so. And also please keep healthy. Stay inside, 
don't breathe on anybody or don't have anybody breathe on you. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.